My apologies for disturbing you. I am here today to discuss a commission with you, Master Proxies. I trust the both of you have already read the forum post of declared criminal intent I sent you. Didn't see anything. Did you forget to send it? Ah. I believe I reposted it in the group chat. My most sincere apologies. I failed to send it properly. Ellen just taught me how to long press and send internet links. But it appears I only managed to copy the title. Oh, so that weird text Lycon sent us was the title of an internet post. Oh, and here I thought Lycon might have a new hobby. Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed I was wrong. I yet remain apologetic for my mistake. In order to not waste your time, allow me to read the contents of the post aloud for you. With the waning moon nigh, the Chosen shall descend as the clock strikes midnight. O sinners, await judgment in silence. That is what the title says. And now, allow me to read the contents for you. On the day of revelation, during the embers of the waning moon, I shall become the Chosen of the heavens and descend upon this land of sins, taking back the divine heart in the name of hope. Signed... The Companion of Justice. Well, that all sounds pretty mysterious. Do you understand any of that, Wise? I understand each word on its own, but when put together... Uh, Lycon, would you mind translating? Considering the follow-up posts made by this poster, this thread should be a declaration that the poster intends to infiltrate a hollow tonight to steal a famous painting that will be in transport then. And this very painting belongs to one of my current employers. As a qualified attendant, it is my duty to protect my client's assets. Thus, I was hoping to have you accompany me into the hollow and help stop the theft. Well, we can, but this post looks like a prank written by a kid trying to sound edgy. Indeed, you aren't wrong to think that way. I too have considered that possibility. Oh, so you know the meaning of edgy. The word edgy appeared in the comments multiple times. In order to figure out the exact meaning of this term, I scoured the web and carefully perused several books on the topic before getting an understanding of the nuance behind it. Lycon really is diligent. Even if the post is, as you said, merely a prank, that is also an acceptable outcome. You see, Eliminating potential threats to my master's safety is also an important duty of an attendant. Of course, regardless of the outcome, I will see to it to give you sufficient compensation, Master Proxies. As this is quite urgent, I'm willing to offer twice the usual commission fee as compensation, if that would be all right with you. We'll take it! After all, what kind of friends would we be if we didn't help a friend in need? No second thoughts whatsoever, huh, Belle? Well then, I suppose this contract is settled. Thank you kindly for your trust. I shall take my leave for now. Once both of you are ready, please make your way to the hollow. Ready and waiting. Soldier 11, reporting. One, two, I'll follow your instructions. Detected ahead. It's most likely the thief. The smell of ethereals. 
How disgusting. We should go after them. You needn't worry. Leave the cleaning to me. Leave it to me, Sir Lycon. Be good and take your feeling! Warning. Strong ethereal energy detected up ahead. That thief was able to get through despite being so small and weak. We should be more vigilant. Supplies up ahead. I'll go by your decision, Master Proxy. Go now. The path ahead seems to be blocked by ethereals. Don't worry, I'll clear the way for you. a weird face. What's wrong? No, it's nothing. This is just a bit shocking. Shocking? How so? Please, do not worry. It's nothing major, it's just that, well, this lady thief is my current employer. Not long ago, I was contracted by her family and temporarily took over their previous attendance duties. Wait, so that means she's stealing something her family already owns? Master, I have found a proverb that fits the current situation. She is going against her family, like machine oil, that decided to flood the workshop. Ha ha, ha ha. Fairy, this isn't the time for bad jokes. Miss Lilac, could you explain why you are here? I know not of this lilac you speaketh of. Thou dost not know my name. But, very well. Allow me to enlighten thee. Mortals, hear me! My name is Lampeluch Asnabel Bentumhein Lilac. But thou may also call me the Chosen of the World's End, the Companion of Justice. I feel like you just mashed up a bunch of random names. You need only praise my name. 
Grandiose, yet lengthy and jumbled terminology, speech filled with emotion but lacking any efficiency in communication. I see. I suppose this is a textbook example of the edgy speech pattern. However, from my perspective, it appears you have no issues communicating with her. Could this be the popular subculture amongst the youth today? Uh, I guess. If he went back like eight trends ago. If I might be blunt, your explanation is also quite confusing. However, we shouldn't linger here. I recommend we escort her out of the hollow. And who might thou be? This is Belle, a friend of mine. Miss Lilac, about what happened just now. I have told thee before, I am not Lilac. I am Lampelouche Asnabel Phantom High Lilac. What a long name. Did you just make that up on the spot? Make what up? This name is from my favorite comic. I. <clears throat> I mean, this is the name bestowed upon me since conception. Aha, uh -huh, I heard that. From the comics, huh? Miss Lilac, would you like blueberry mousse or orange tart for afternoon tea tomorrow? <laughs> blueberry mousse, for sure. <laughs> oh! So you finally admitted it. You're just his boss's kid, Lilac. How? How could you use food to trip me up? Hmm, that's cheating! There it is. The classic staple of the edgy persona. Speaking normally once exposed. Miss Lilac, if I may ask you, why do you want to steal this painting? Stealing a painting? <laughs> As expected, you can only see the surface of all this! Unfortunately for your feeble minds, the shallows do not typically contain the truth. May I be so bold as to assume that the post on Internaut was also put up by you? Uh, what post? I don't know of any post. On the Day of Revelation, during the embers of the waning moon, I shall become the Chosen of the Heavens and descend upon this land of sins, taking back... What's with that bland as hell reading? If you tried to sign up for the organization right now, <laughs> I bet they'd drop you in the first round. But the organization probably wouldn't want someone as stuffy as you in the first place. Never mind a painting. I bet you couldn't even steal a coin. What is this organization you speak of? The organization is the organization. Stealing this painting is the test they gave me. Once I pass this test, I can join them and become a companion of justice! I just didn't think that I'd get something belonging to my parents as a target. What kind of organization tests people by making them steal things? Obviously, a phantom thieves syndicate. What else? Do you really not know about Mockingbird? The most famous phantom thieves in all of New Eridu? <sighs> Searching for Mockingbird, an infamous thief syndicate that steals from the rich and gives to the poor. Though their reputation is quite mixed, they once fooled and scammed almost all the wealthy elites of New Eridu. The organization was inactive for quite some time, but has recently resurfaced on Internaut. They're merely a group of criminals, nothing more. Mockingbird isn't just some group of criminals. They're chivalrous thieves who steal from the rich and give to the poor. They are justice itself. And I am one of the chosen Lampelouche Asnabel Phantom High Lilac, also known as the Chosen of the Worlds and the Companion of Justice. Miss Lilac. That's enough. Don't try to stop me. 
You can't possibly understand this kind of justice or my determination to become a phantom thief. You misunderstand. As an attendant, it is my duty to protect my master's assets. So I cannot allow you to steal this painting. However, please do not worry. As per the contract I have signed, you too are my employer, and I will not prevent you from doing as you wish, nor will I tell your parents. Yet I must warn you, the organization that calls itself Mockingbird is not necessarily trustworthy, and there are great risks in trying to join. I hope you can reconsider. I thought you were gonna be all stuffy and stuck up like my previous attendants. Never thought you might be different from those old fossils. As for the painting, it's fine, even if you don't let me take it. Hmm, I have other ways. Please do not worry. I will not let the situation remain as it currently is. It's just considering what I know of people such as Miss Lilac. Forcing my opinion will only cause more trouble. If I want her to understand the issue at hand, I need to find a more appropriate method. Something more direct and impactful that'll teach her where the issue lies. Apart from that, I also need some time to look into this ostensible Mockingbird's current dealings more thoroughly. Lycon, why do you care so much about this Mockingbird? Have you had issues with them in the past or something? My relationship with Mockingbird. I wouldn't exactly call what transpired issues. It has to do with a mistake I once made. I apologize. This has to do with some unpleasant history. When the opportunity presents itself, I will tell you more. You have my word. Ah, you are very punctual. I wanted to discuss with you that recently, Miss Lilac has been acting rather strange. While she usually frequents the bookstore, recently she has been going to the noodle shop instead. 
What's wrong with the noodle shop? Noodles are the best. I apologize. I have no bias against noodles. What I mean is, Miss Lilac's least favorite food is noodles. She even said, noodles being the Protax favorite food, that's so last year. It's a new year now. Have some creativity. So Lilac really is a huge comic nerd, huh? In addition, according to what her chauffeur and bodyguard said, she even skipped her extra classes today. This is completely unprecedented. Miss Lilac has always been well behaved and never skips classes. Even in her free time, she spends it almost entirely reading comics. I have a suspicion that this all might have to do with that so-called Mockingbird organization. You think the Phantom Thieves are teaching Lilac bad habits? Yes, I believe so. In any case, in order to ensure that there are no potential threats to her safety, I wish to do some investigating at the places she frequents. If I could be so bold as to ask you to accompany me, I believe you are likely more familiar with Lumina Square than I am. Of course! I know Lumina Square like the back of my hand. It seems you are indeed quite familiar with the location. I was wise to ask for your help. Ah, yes. There was something else I wished to discuss with you. May I call you Master while investigating, just in case. I believe using this to cover our identities will be more convenient for us. Of course! You can call me whatever. Thank you for your cooperation. Then, let us begin from the noodle shop.
I did not expect Miss Lilac would actually work here part-time. Logically speaking, she would not lack pocket money to spend. Unless... Perhaps she's saving up to purchase something particularly expensive. What if... Maybe Lilac wants to buy the painting she wanted to steal. As expected of a great proxy such as yourself, you came to this conclusion immediately as well. Lilac's parents have been planning to sell a batch of paintings recently. That painting is amongst them, and I hear it was reserved a couple of days ago. But that painting is not cheap. If I had to guess, I'd say it costs about... Mm, How much? How could someone her age come up with that much money? Well, in terms of material wealth, my employer is indeed quite affluent. Material wealth? Is there another kind of wealth? <sighs> Miss Lilac's parents are usually exceptionally busy and are unable to spend time with her. However, they are very strict and expect the best from her. No matter what she is doing, she usually has a chauffeur or bodyguards to accompany her. Well, excuse me, monitor her actions would be a more apt way to put it. Every day after school, Miss Lilac also has endless extracurricular and supplementary classes to attend. Though she may have material wealth, is she truly happy? I've been wondering ever since I took over attendant duties for this household. Perhaps that is exactly why Miss Lilac spends so much time with her comics. At the very least, in the world of comic book fiction, she is free. You're such a sweet guy. You flatter me, but I may not be how you think I am. Someone once told me that family is an everlasting, unavoidable curse placed upon a person. No matter how much you grow, no matter where you go, that curse will forever follow you like a shadow. When you fall to rock bottom or climb to your peak, it will appear, turning you back into that helpless, powerless child who can do nothing but hide in the closet and weep. Perhaps it is because I have never known the feeling of being bonded to someone through blood, but I've always believed that family should not be a curse, as they had told me. Family can be full of warmth. They can be the people who support you every step of the way. It seems you and your kin are quite close. I am sincerely happy to know that. I believe Lilac chose to work part-time due to her family as well. Perhaps her savings are just short of being able to afford the painting, and she does not wish to ask her parents for help. Or perhaps she simply wants to obtain something through the efforts of her own two hands. However, what I am most worried about is that if Miss Lilac did manage to buy the painting, it would then follow that she would meet with members of Mockingbird. If this is so, she may end up in danger. So, could I be so bold as to ask you to accompany me to another location? Once we are there, I should be able to confirm where exactly that painting will end up.
You seem to have something about which you would like to inquire. Please, go ahead. What exactly is your line of work? As you can see, I am merely a normal attendant. I understand your confusion. However, this concerns my past. It also concerns my nemesis. I see. You haven't said anything yet, but I get it. Indeed. They are memories I would rather not bring up. In any case, that past is not pleasant. All right, I'll let you off the hook for now. Guess I'll just have to interrogate you later. Thank you for your understanding. As a matter of fact, I once had dealings with these intermediaries due to... Uh, well, I had my reasons. Many of them are so cunning, they will take advantage of any weaknesses they perceive. It takes patience and effort to deal with them. If you ever come across such merchants in the future, please be careful. And do not give your trust lightly. Seeing as Miss Lilac has already obtained the painting, she must be meeting with the people from Mockingbird soon. We must stop her before that happens. She should have just finished her supplementary classes. Let's head over and take a look.
Miss Lilac, please. We have no ill intentions. And I do not agree with what those other students said about you. I merely want to warn you that Mockingbird is suspicious. It is possible you may encounter danger if you go. Even if I'm in danger, it doesn't concern you. In the end, you're just an attendant that my parents hired. Why are you trying to stick your nose into everything? In any case, you're probably just like those other people. You must think I'm a freak, just like they do. Well, I'm so sorry that you're forced to take care of someone who only causes trouble, who no one loves, who's edgy and delusional like me. I've never thought that. Miss Lilac, you are the respectable, important employer of Victoria Housekeeping. We would never treat someone like yourself with such utter disrespect. But you weren't even willing to listen to what I said. <sighs> My most sincere apologies. My knowledge is lacking. I have yet to better understand popular subcultures, such as what being edgy truly means. I shall make sure to take lessons and educate myself on it. I don't think taking lessons on being edgy is necessary. It doesn't matter anymore. This is all just the price I need to pay to become a companion of justice. I bought the painting so I can finally meet with them. The people at Mockingbird told me that I'm the most promising recruit yet. I will join them and become a companion of justice! You cannot stop me! <sighs> I understand. If that is your wish, I will not stop you. I will help you fulfill it. You... Uh... I'm meeting with Mockingbird at the Ballet Twins at this time tomorrow. You know, I can in fact do this by myself. I don't need you. I've got a carrot and I've prepared weapons to deal with the ethereals. So... I don't care if you come or not. It's up to you. My apologies. I have brought shame to myself. By making Miss Lilac feel uncomfortable, I have failed in my duties as an attendant. Are you really going to do this? To help Lilac fulfill her wish? Uh, yes, I will. However, the wish I will help her fulfill is what her heart truly desires. If I'm correct in my suspicions, she doesn't simply wish to join Mockingbird. That's only what's on the surface. She has other needs, emotional needs, that are truly what she seeks to fulfill. The fish has taken the bait. Fish? What fish? Where? That organization calling itself Mockingbird has contacted me. Master Proxy, may I ask you for a favor? Please, this is something only you can do.
Awaiting ready for combat. One at your disposal. The way is blocked. Let's keep going up the stairs. Set the meeting time a little early, just in case. There are still some ethereals ahead. We'd best get rid of this. Filth first. That's why you got here early? To deal with the ethereal? Indeed. As an attendant, the safety of my client is paramount. Oh. Oh. All right. Rina, please watch out. <laughs> 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 Can you see me? Don't look straight at the moon. Lycon! 
No way, you... this so-called Mockingbird, I attempted to get into contact with them to express my desire to join their organization. Through my own methods, I found out they had already looked into my background and knew that, although I am currently working for Lilac's family, I am actually loyal to an unknown master. Could I trouble you with putting on an act with me? I would like you to meet with them, posing as this unknown master. Leave it to me. I'm a great master. Fantastic. I expect no less from New Eridu's greatest proxy. In order to help our disguise, I have crafted a new identity for you. You needn't worry. Simply speak as you typically would. Oh ho! So you are the one who wishes to join Mockingbird. You may call me Codename K. What do you think? It's a great name, isn't it? Doesn't it sound awe-inspiring? Kay? That's a strange name. It's codename Kay! Don't just get rid of words in other people's names! Without the codename part, it won't show any of the awesome epicness of me being a final villainous boss! Oh, so you are also into the trending subcultures among young people? What trending subcultures? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, you must be the rumored attendant Lycon and the Gemini Gods. Wait a minute. What, what, what the heck is Gemini Gods? That's clearly not a real name. My master has many enemies. Please understand that they cannot reveal their true name. Their enemies? Uh, very well, then. Since we're all in the same line of business, I'll be straight with you. Lilac is our golden ticket, and we put in a lot of effort to get her to fight. We gotta squeeze every last drop we can get. We plan to take care of her for a bit after she mistakenly stumbles into the hollow, and then contact her parents for some of that dough. You have a similar plan, right? How about we work together? We can split it 70-30. 70, 70 for us, 30 for you. Isn't that just kidnapping? Kidnapping? How very ignorant of you. We're just taking a little fee for looking after a poor kid in the hollow. So what do you say? Lycon, what's your recommendation? Master, I believe this is an acceptable transaction. It's a deal. So it's settled. Quick and forthright as expected of a fellow business person. I'll send you the time and location later. We shall eagerly await your message. That should do it. Once we are there, we can pretend to work with them, photograph all the evidence of their wrongdoings, and then send the evidence to public security. Thank you for your cooperation. You are quite adept at acting. What kind of identity did you give me? Simply put, you are an influential and all-powerful head honcho of a crime syndicate that delights in doing evil. You have a network of elite agents at your beck and call, and I am one of your humble enforcers. Ah, right. There is something else I would like to discuss with you. Please do not inform Miss Lilac of any of this just yet. Speaking from personal experience, an encounter such as this cannot be resolved purely through reliance on others. We can help Miss Lilac deal with this threat. We cannot protect her forever. She must see through this conspiracy herself. Perhaps this may be somewhat cruel, but in the long term, it will help her. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Let's do that then. Thank you. 
I believe in Miss Lilac and her ability to overcome this. Mr. Lycon! You... didn't betray me? Miss Lilac, until our contract ends, I am your humble attendant. An attendant will never betray their master. Damn you! You dare toy with me? Do you know who I am? I'm the great leader of Mockingbird! I'm terribly sorry, but our Bangboo has recorded the truth of your criminal acts. If you surrender and admit your guilt now, I trust that public security will not administer too harsh of a punishment. No, I won't go to jail. Never. I have no other choice. It's time you have a taste of Mockingbird's claws! I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten mad after you guys helped me. It's okay. Let's let Lycon take care of these guys first. As you command. Oh, chosen one, please deliver your final judgment. Huh? Wait, what did Lycon just say? You never fail to impress me, Esquire Lycon. He's getting even more edgy. Surprise attack! You cannot stop me yet. Take them down! As you wish, my liege. On the day of revelation. During the embers of the waning moon, that is when your karmic retribution shall strike. Uh, you, you, you gonna get it, Mockingbirdle? Allow me to give you a warning. Never say that name again, or else no one will be able to save you. It is done. They should no longer be able to pose a threat. I didn't think Lycon could give a speech like that. It was all for Lilac, right? Yes. After we parted ways before, I took some time learning this trendy subculture. Miss Lilac, what did you think of my performance? Was it acceptable? So terribly sorry. I, it appears my imitation of popular subculture was so poor. I have angered you to tears. Hey now, Lilac isn't crying because she's mad. Th that's right. I, I just got ether in my eye. That's all. Um, I, I'm sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all of this. You know, w when Mockingbird first reached out to me, I did notice they were really focused on me. They were super sus, but then they said I was one of the chosen. They said they needed my power. And you know, no one has... No one has ever said anything like that to me before. And then I just... It, it was like I just stopped thinking. I'm so, so sorry. Don't worry, it's all good. We don't blame you. Miss Lila, I don't think you need to be so harsh on yourself. Each and every person will have experiences like this of some sort. I once walked the wrong path as well, but it's all right. If one can turn back in time, they will manage to find their true path in life. Thank you. God, now that I think about it, that was so embarrassing! Ugh, I can't believe I was going around proudly calling myself the Companion of Justice. 
In reality, I just got tricked by a bunch of bad guys! Well, I think what we're doing now is in the name of justice, don't you? It is only thanks to you that we were able to gain video evidence of their crimes and take them down. Mr. Lycon. I'm really sorry to ruin the mood here, but... How are we going to move the people we knocked out out of the Hollow? Should I call PubSec? Hmm. That is indeed an issue. If needed, I can... Hey, what are you doing here? Were you the ones who called? Public security? Why are they here? Oh, I almost forgot. Before I entered the Hollow, I set an automatic SOS. If I were gone too long, my phone would automatically call PubSec. Huh. Didn't expect Lilac to be so prepared. Uh, what's up with these tied-up people? They're all bad guys. I believe that sums it up. We took video evidence of the criminal activities that were being committed. We will submit it all to public security shortly. I see. Well then, I'll take these suspects back with me. Um, excuse me? I'm really sorry for causing all this trouble. It's because of me that all this happened in the first place. Why are you apologizing? We should be thanking you. You helped public security take down an entire criminal syndicate. Good job, young lady. Huh? That's right, Miss Lilac. I think you do deserve the title Companion of Justice. <laughs> Thank you all so much! some desserts. Please, have some. I hope you like them. My friend recommended this flavor to me, and I bought mom and dad some too. It should taste real good. Well, actually, after what happened, word had been going around that one of the students helped PubSec take down a huge crime syndicate. Everyone's real curious who it is, and saying how amazing that student is. <laughs> I know it's only thanks to you. Okay, so recently, I had an idea. And the true heroes are always behind the scenes. I've decided to draw my own comic series based on the topic. The protag, intent on becoming a hero, and after experiencing all kinds of encounters, eventually realizes that true justice exists in everything he's done. A story like that. That sounds awesome. So, you know how to draw Lilac? That's so cool. I... I've read a lot of comics. And though I might not be all that great at drawing now, I want to try. I think that's a marvelous idea. I think so too. Thank you so much. 
This all really means a lot to me. Mr. Lycon, Mom and Dad said that your contract with our family ended. They said you didn't renew it because your schedule is already so stacked. Though it's sad to see you go. I guess it can't be helped. But there's something I want to say to you. Um... You... You're the best attendant I've ever had. I am honored to receive such praise from you. <laughs> Guess I'll be off then. Let's have dessert together again. When we get the chance. You seem surprised. Lilac seems to be doing really well. I didn't think she would recover so quickly. I believe the reason Miss Lilac was susceptible to manipulation was because no one had ever expressed belief in her in such a way before. Her parents didn't spend much time with her due to work, and others her age didn't understand her hobbies. Thankfully, she has now found a passion to pursue, become closer with her parents, and made new friends. I am truly happy for her. <clears throat> By the way, here is your compensation. It is as we agreed, double your usual fee. I am, as ever, grateful for your help. Without you, this wouldn't have gone as smoothly as it did. Don't mention it! Remember to hit us up if you need anything like this again. Of course. You are the best proxy I know. Truly. By the way, public security has confirmed that the people we took care of were merely copycats of Mockingbird. They used the name Mockingbird for their scams and deception. You knew from the very start that they were a fake, didn't you? I see nothing gets past you. You could say that I am quite familiar with the real Mockingbird. That's why, when I heard the name, I already knew something was amiss. Familiar? How do you become familiar? How familiar? Go on, spill the tea, sis. I was once... deeply involved. Wait, so you mean that you were... Yes, it is exactly what you think. Now you know me in my entirety. I sincerely hope that this doesn't frighten you. If I may, allow me to share another secret. In reality, I have had contact with this edgy concept before. Or this popular subculture, I suppose. I have even memorized and recited such sentences. Of course, under the influence of a certain old acquaintance. Really? I want to hear? Well, if that is your wish, allow me to say now that if you wish to laugh, please do. There's no need to hold it back on my account. It would not be good for your health. Well then, let me begin. I offer this supreme honor to you. In this land of sin and virtue, solemnly do I swear. Humility, courage, integrity, compassion, fairness, self-sacrifice, devotion, honor. I shall never compromise in my fight against evil. I shall never back down in my goal to uplift the downtrodden. I shall never betray my loyalty to my companions. It's loyalty to justice. Oh, Lycon. I can't believe you're having trouble memorizing such simple lines. <gasps> Could it be that there's something wrong with you here? Shut it. Ah! Speaking of... Why am I the only one who has to recite these cheesy-as-all-hell lines? Because my performance is impeccable, and so I need no extra training. You, on the other hand, have slipped up thrice already. So what? We still got the job done. Using violence every time is so very boring. In any case, I want far more than just this. Imagine it, Lyca. One day, we will be like those who stand at the top, under the spotlight of praise and defamation, admiration and loathing, faith or betrayal. So, doesn't that sound super entertaining? <sighs> <laughs> huh. 
Save your daydreams for after we get this job done. It looks like I'm a step too late. It matters not. It's about time for a reunion, dear traitor. <laughs>